Now for more perspective on the crisis, I'm joined by VOA Zimbabwe reporter Blessing Zulu. Hey, Blessing. Hi, You're becoming Vincent. a regular. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so first, yeah. what is the mood in, inside Zimbabwe? You've been talking mm -hmm. to people there. W what's going on? Um, I think, you know, the problem is that uh, Mr. Mugabe has been in power for quite a long time. And uh, many Zimbabweans, even as it was happening, uh, you know, we were reporting uh, minute by minute. We were calling people, you know, they were not even aware and some were, even up to now, still skeptical. Uh, and, you know, the situation in uh, most parts of the country is uh, calm, but uh, it remains uh, very tense. Yeah. Well, Mugabe is uh, larger than life in Zimbabwe. But uh, from what you're hearing, uh, what mm. is the game plan here by the military? They say, this is not a coup. We just want mm -hmm. to take care of some criminals. Mm -hmm. Who are the criminals? And what, then what after that? Unfortunately, uh, if you go by what they've been saying, uh, the criminals might as well include the first lady because they are saying she is uh, one of those uh, uh, people who were influencing uh, Mr. Mugabe to make bad decisions. So they have arrested uh, or they've uh, actually detained some of these people that they are calling uh, the criminals. You have the finance minister, Ignatius Chombo. Uh, we also understand that the police commissioner is uh, being detained, Augustine Chiwuri. Uh, yeah, the Minister of Local Government, Sevia Kasukwere, Higher Education Minister uh, Jonathan Moyo, and uh, Mr. Mugabe's nephew, uh, Patrick Joao, is also under uh, house arrest. Uh, but uh, I think, uh, like many analysts are saying, it is a coup. Yeah, uh, well, we know that <clears throat> Jonathan Moyo was calling this a fake news. Mm -hmm. I don't know under house arrest what he thinks now. But uh, in, in terms of uh, the House, uh, ousted Vice President Emerson mm -hmm. Munangawa. Where is he now? Do we know anything about it? Uh, we know there are some reports that he is in South Africa and others are saying he was never in South Africa. He was actually always in Zimbabwe. But uh, we know that uh, the Army General uh, who uh, staged this coup, um, General Constantino Chiwenga, is a close ally of Mnangagwa. So what we understand now is that uh, since they've uh, uh, put Mr. Mugabe under house arrest, they are trying to negotiate with him to step down in order to pave way for Mnangagwa ahead of the ZANU-PF uh, uh, Congress in December, which makes it very interesting because some were saying uh, maybe there will be a transitional government. They will invite uh, opposition leaders like uh, Morgan Changirai and others but uh, I think uh, there is uh, a confusion, you know, amongst the uh, coup plotters on the way forward. Some are just saying, let's have Mnangagwa. Others are saying, let's include other players. So yeah. it's a fluid situation. So we'll watch and see, because at the end of the day, some of the big wigs in the party and those in the military are kind of uh, comrades. These are fellows who've been working Indeed. together. So Indeed. it's still a ZANU-PF affair. Indeed. So we'll just watch and see whether they will kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, invite the opposition. Be sure you'll be back here. Indeed. <laughs> is it as forth? Thank you very much. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, that's uh, viewer Zimbabwe reporter, Blessing Zulu.